Well, uh, Brian, this is like one healthy 73 Mach 1. <laughs> this thing is, uh, well, first of all, it's hard to miss because it's pretty, pretty yellow. I call it Yellinor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. That's good. But you know, when I saw it, it's clearly modified. And I swore there was like a ton of body work done, this, particularly the front fender. This thing looks, it looks extended. It looks maybe even a touch sectioned. But you say that's a stock fender? Uh, they call a long nose 71 to 73. It's the long nose Mach 1. It's longer than I thought it was. And maybe it's just because the front end's dropped. But it really looks wild. Yeah. Now, so that isn't one of the body mods, but this thing's had a lot of work. A ton of work in it. What all, what all did they do? And where, did, where was this thing built? This was built at a street rod shop in Pennsylvania in 1997, 98, 99. Uh-huh. The gentleman that first bought it couldn't finish it, so he sold it, and it was finished at the street rod shop and ended up in Ontario, Canada. Oh, wow. And then it went to Wyoming, and now I got my hands on it two years ago. Well, that's a well-traveled car. Huh? Yes, wow. 72 miles on it when I got it. <laughs> With all that transport, only 72 miles. 72 miles. Wow, so how long have you had it? Two years. Two years. And was she in this shape when you bought it? Just about. It, the car was all yellow, so it was too much yellow. Yeah. So yeah. we broke it up with some black on the hood and on the scoop. Uh, the decals were on the side. It just needed a little something, and I think this was the touch that finished it all. Well, I totally agree. I think that would be way too much yellow. It would look like a huge banana. And, <laughs> and this, this really, I mean, this sets it off. And it, again, I swear, I know these are long cars. And I don't know what it is about this, but it looks even longer. Yeah, it barely fits in my garage. It, it, so it is really a long it's car. It's a long car, yes, yeah. absolutely. And this was the last of the, the big Mustangs. Yeah, this, this is the last high horsepower year that they, they made. Yeah. I think it came with the 429, like certain models did. Wow. So then, you know, they completely did the interior when they did it. So everything is different here, right? Yeah, they cut the dash out. That's a fiberglass dash they custom made. Uh -huh. You know, it's got a tilt steering wheel, billet steering wheel, her shifter. It's got an emergency brake. Uh, it's channeled onto the uh, tube chassis. Um, oh, so the original chassis just the original gone. Original chassis is gone. It's a Chris Alston 2x3 wow. tube chassis with a Ford 9 inch, 355 gears. It's a great driver. And, you know, serious roll cage in it. Yeah, I'm going to race it. I haven't, ra I haven't had the chance yet, but I'm going to. Really? I mean, it's so do. nice. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> it's, it's just, I mean, and everything about it is so clean. And I, I noticed the back window is like, I don't know. I mean, it looks different too. It's just really flush. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they did with the original moldings, but it's definitely not stock. Definitely not. Def and I was been a Chevy guy my whole life, and I saw this car, and I actually fell in love with it. I gotta so have this. Right? Gotta have it. Yes. <laughs> well, even this panel is, is is still stock. I mean, it's such an interesting mix of stock and not. Yes. Yeah. They even kept the original gas cap I, uh -huh. with the lock, but we fell from the side. Fell over here, eh? Yes. I mean, this, and it's, I mean, I, I saw the graphics, 557. Five, yeah, that's the cubic inch. It was a 460 block that they stroked out to a 557. And it looks pretty mean, even coming through the hood. Let's go have a look at it. Sure. Oh, th this is a cool touch. The, the, the hold down pins, which would have been up there. Yeah, the, the hood used to flip up. Right. Now it flips. They're back here. Oh. This way. And I love that they left them. I mean, and, and they're, they're functional. This right? is the factory um, hold down, just welded back here. Not that it's going to flip up this way, but you got the hold downs anyway. Yeah, yeah, yes. And holy cow, <laughs> this really looks, this looks great. So what, it's a 460, but that's not out in anything. That looks like a... It's an SVO manifold, uh -huh. SVO heads. I'm not sure on the block, uh, but it was a 460. It's a 557 kit. It made 600 horsepower, almost 700 foot-pounds. So it gets up and goes. Is this a custom uh, setup? Or yeah, that's a custom snorkel that the, the gentleman made and at the, the street rod shop. Yeah, it, it's got to be weeks worth of work just oh, in that and the hood. It has to and, be. And the, and the hood is all steel. It, well, that's the other thing, because I, I, when I saw this, I, even the fender said, so is that all, is that fiberglass now? This thing's all steel. All steel. It is just amazing. And boy, does she sit far back. Yeah, I think they set it back about 15%. Wow, so they had to, you know, probably cut and, and redo the firewall. Yeah, they cut the original firewall off. This is fiberglass here. Uh huh. And they molded it in. It's boxed out for the uh, C6 oh. trans. That's probably the only glass, fiberglass in Th there. That's that, it, right? yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's a great looking uh, frame, too. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the Chris Alston tube chassis with coilovers and uh, chrome spindles. I mean, this baby is serious. Do uh, do people like dig this? I mean, do, do, when when you're at a show, or they it gets ton of looks. Ton of looks. Ton of looks. Yeah. Yeah, because because of the craftsmanship and all the work that's in it. Well, it, it it really is magnificent craftsmanship. It's so unique that cutout that fit. Man, I tell you, this 
This is a serious 73. Brian, I love this car. Thank man. you very much. 1973 Mach 1557. 557, yes. <laughs> Yowza.